Hello viewers, welcome back to the Homeworld Desert Sakarak speedrunning tutorial. This video we are going over a Kalash site. Let's get started. Closing in on the target site. Rachel. Go to head and establish a positive ID. Roger that. We have arrived in the so the first thing, um, from continuing this mission from Cape Wrath, Rachel will lose her control group, so if you assign her a control group, make sure you give her one. Again. Um, like I said in the previous video, uh, whatever you do for your control groups, that's up to you. These are the ones that make uh, the most sense for me. Adjusting onboard scanners. It's got to be around here. The signal we picked up was significant. Um, the Kalash wreck is somewhere up here, so just give her a waypoint up here and she'll travel to that Intel. position. We found something. And then a cutscene. So detecting wreckage strewn across the valley below. I'll need to set up additional scanners to get a clearer picture of exactly what happened here. Our first objective is to build a scanner, which will be hotkey E when Rachel is selected. Scans are incomplete. Um, I need to place a scanner at this location. One thing to note, uh, let's go over here a little bit. Uh, base runners, like I said, um, in general, they kind of have funky driving physics. They kind of like roll and do donuts and make really crazy path. Um, so if you um, deploy this scanner um, a little bit in front of her, it lets her drive up and brake instead of like driving up and then skidding past the place and then like backing up so uh, just do it a little bit ahead of her she'll drive up drop the scanner and then that's it for that objective awaiting orders the technology once the scanner is done um, we're going to have her go to this position it along with your group of AAVs exponentially. Um, one thing to note is we kind of have to watch our population we need nine strike fighters in this mission and they each take two population so you want to have 18 population at some point. Um, we also have to build two more base runners, and they each take two population as well. So that's 22 population um, that we're going to need. And then at the end of the mission, we're also going to need to build three more salvagers if possible. So that's an additional six population right there for a total of 28 population needed. Um, it's very likely that you're going to lose LAVs in this mission. Um, so those will free up spaces. But one thing you can do is you can always retire um, a couple of these LAVs beforehand. Um, try and do the ones that don't have any sort of upgrades. So you see these little bars here. That means that these LAVs have been in combat and they've gained a vet veterancy. Or I don't, I, I don't know how to say it, but veterancy. Um, and they get little upgrades with that. So try and pick some that don't have any upgrades and you can retire them to free up a little population in the beginning. The resources that are visible now can be salvaged, but there are considerably more within the wreck itself. In order to extract them, we need to establish a broader scanner network so I can develop a complete And then once those guys are underway, go ahead and take all of your LAVs, give them one control group, and we're going to send them down here to this little texture spot right here. So that I look at this little brown patch of sand that's right down the hill that's where we want them to go I'll bring the Capizzi over here and we're gonna have a cutscene here actually um, you can still issue commands so make sure you grab your salvages have them go over here and then your support cruiser needs to go over here deploy and secure scanners at each wreckage site located alert the storm is producing tornadoes on low-lying areas <coughs> excuse me avoid the tornadoes the sand and debris they spin up choose through light armor. What do you mean? Searching for additional wreckage in the valley ahead could be difficult. So when this text starts, put your uh, mouse over support cruiser fabrication, because that's where base runner fabrication is going to pop up. And we need to research that immediately. And then we're also going to immediately build two base runners, which is hotkey B here. So you can go E, B, B real quick on your keyboard. And base runner fabrication online. Build two. Get her moving. Begin control. Now we want our base runners to go down this hill right here to get to the other two wrecks. Um, we're going to put a waypoint right here at the mouth of this little like cannon down the hill. Um, and then I'm going to show you a little bit. We can position our Capizzi 
um, a little bit differently so that that back hanger where these cars or base runners drive out of, um, we want that to be facing towards the hill so that it can drive straight off and down the hill. It's kind of a little optimization. Um, it saves very minuscule amount of time, but like I said, if you want to be optimized. So it kind of get the Capizzi to swing its, uh, swing its butt over that way. Um, you don't want it to do too much because there's some funky physics. That looks good. Um, the Capizzi can kind of bounce around and do some crazy things. But anyways, let's get our base runners starting to head towards uh, the wreck. allow us to quickly explore new areas and search for hostile forces. Secure location. Wreckage site detected. Great work. Establish a scanner and a defensive Life. turret. Runner base runner. Our scans indicate there are two additional wreck sites. So once they're heading in the general direction, you can kind of refine where they need to go. So over here, this wreck is at the tip of this rock. It's actually right here on the map, so anywhere close to there is fine. And then the second base runner can head over here. And this one is, oops, where is my fingers at? Is right here about, um, it's at the base of this big dune below these little rock outcroppings. And I kind of look at this little brown circle that's kind of surrounded by these white wispy sand trails it's about right here in the middle so that's a good place um, one thing about our salvagers let me get a good position and pause and talk so there are three RU spots you need to harvest two RU spots completely so once this RU is spot you can harvest either this one or this one it doesn't really matter but harvest those completely and that'll give you enough RUs um, now this CU patch we want to harvest completely and we also want to harvest this one and possibly the one below it completely. One thing to notice about your salvages is if your Capizzi, um, when you kind of move it to swing its butt around so that the base runners can come off and go in a straight path, it might be very close to where these salvages um, are harvesting so that when they, when they complete this CU patch, and they want to auto move to the next one, the Capizzi is in the way and they kind of get stuck. It's actually a very annoying little pathing bug, but if the Capizzi is blocking their path, they will just stay there. Um, so if you notice that your CUs are not going up like they should be, um, it's probably because two of your salvages are stuck and they need to be manually moved over here to start harvesting on the other patches. So be aware of that. This, it looks like this should be fine here, but we'll find out, we'll keep an eye on them. So once Rachel gets down to this wreck, deploy a scanner here, and then I kind of try and pull all my AAVs in towards the center. Um, you want them to kind of form like a little barricade circle around the scanner. And then put Rachel in the middle, and that way she can heal all the units um, as they kind of defend that scanner there. And then the Galazine will show up. So that should be pretty good. So I just have all these guys hold. Now some sand skimmers spawn over here, so we'll go ahead and take those guys out real quickly. Affirmative. The Galcian are targeting our scanner network. Scramble defenders. And then we want him to go, or we want this group to head over and uh, help our base runners. Base runner has arrived, build the scanner, and we're going to build two turrets. So one thing to note is we want turret damage upgrade. That'll help out a lot. These guys finished. I'm going to have them harvest uh, this pile instead. It's a little bit closer to this uh, support cruiser. And that uh, base runner arrived, so that's good. on the board. Now at this point you're kind of you're kind of trying to keep an eye out for where the production cruiser spawned. Um, I want to say it looks like it spawned over here, which it did. Um, this is the ideal position, right in this uh, this area. Send message. Um, I'll talk about that. Just give me just a second. I want to get these um, coordinates confirmed. These turrets up. Runner, go ahead. Armor vehicle taking effective fire. Strike craft destroyed. Op ready. On our way. Hammer. One of our turrets is taking fire. Style arm sensors are both gates under fire. Keep steady. Alert. Turret post destroyed. Reposition. Light attack vehicle is under fire. Support ready. The Galcine are attempting to destroy our scanner. 
When you get this prompt, get Strike Fighter Fabrication as soon as possible. Also, this RU group is fully harvested, so let's get these guys on CUs. Um, so I need to kind of back up and talk a little bit more now. Uh, so there are three positions where this production cruiser can spawn. Um, it can spawn north of this wreck, north of this wreck on the top of the dune, and it ends up being a little bit west of this wreck, kind of over here. Um, where it spawned now, that is the ideal position because as it fabricates waves of units, they'll come down and they'll get mowed down by your uh, group of AAVs. Um, the AAVs, this spot is going to be the most secure. Um, your LAVs will do a good job, but they can have trouble with large groups of AAVs. Um, there will be a wave of like five AAVs that will, or five assault ships, I'm talking Gelsium here, five assault ships will um, spawn and they'll kind of travel across the map. And your, your group of LAVs can have trouble with that. Um, so the reason this one is ideal is because these units will focus on this scanner, which has the best defense. Now if it spawns on the other part of the map, um, something to note, you might think that you want to send your LAV group over to destroy it right away so it stops fabricating units, and you can do that. But if you do that before you have strike fighter fabrication researched, a second production cruiser will spawn um, once you finish all of your object objectives here. Your final objective for this mission is to destroy all reigning, remaining Gaussian forces. So when that objective comes up, if you destroy the first production cruiser before you had strike fighter fabrication, another one will spawn and it'll start spitting out units and it's just, it's more units for you to destroy. So you don't really want to do that. Just use your LAV group to kind of patrol here, um, pick off units, and then once you get strike fighter fabrication, then you can nuke the production cruiser with strike fighters. Go for support. So these turrets should do a good job Ready. defending here. Reporting. Strike fighter fabrication online. So we want to build nine strike fighters as soon as possible. Looks like we'll have just enough population for that. All these units kind of just come over this hill and they get mowed down very quickly while Rachel kind of defends all of them. Strike fighter online. Looks like our salvages. Well, we're not blocked, so they automatically went around. That's really good. What kind of position? Oops. What kind of position? Oh. Salvage is a little bit. Or position the production or support cruiser. Jesus, I cannot talk. Fighter online. Reading. We also want to get strike fighter hangar as soon as possible. That's very important. And that, sh that, that should be it for me uh, researching this mission. If you want time, or if you have time and resources, you can go ahead and start railgun fabrication. Um, we'll be needing to get that uh, eventually. So once you have two waves of strike fighters, go ahead and nuke this production cruiser. Um, that'll destroy it. Uh, we might need to have these guys head down here and help destroy that wave of enemies. Enemy light attack vehicle marked on approach. Armor vehicle taking effective fire. Scan at 80%. Just a little longer. Unidentified craft on approach. Mark the bearing. Turning fire. The turret is under fire. fire. Good. Alerting. Rachel is in contact. On our way. Copy. Target set. So once Alert. you're 80%, you can retire your, um, your base runners. That'll kind of give you a little bit more uh, population. Clear out! Hit it! Point set! Armored vehicle has been destroyed. Ready, set. Warning, Rachel. That's it. Scan complete. We've got it. So once that's done, pull all your units over here towards the top. Uh, you want to dis uh, defend your salvagers. We can go ahead and get eliminated. two more salvagers uh, built. We want to get three. If we don't have enough, um, we can use the ones that we've already built to kind of help uh, get in position for where we need them. Enemy railgun firing on friendly. Alert! Turret post destroyed. And then just use your your um. Green line confirmed. Engines hot. Hammer it. Get us over there. Ready 
So we now we want a salvager to get to each one of the wrecks Salvatore for the next mission. Alert. Um, has been engaged. It actually kind of looks like got a salvager under fire. On the move. we might have some trouble, so I'm going to send him over this way instead. You want to try and get them down, down. Um, the hill at the very least. Fire. Down the hills should be good. PC and then let's go ahead salvager and pull copy. one of these guys copy. and Moving. start getting him moved. Ready. Receiving. Fast attack pattern. Full speed. Listen up. Strike fighter coordinates dialed in. Combat alert. Attack coordinates. Support craft down. So bridge was taking some fire. damage, actually. Armor That's ready. not good. Moving into escort formation. Reading. Coordinates Hostile confirmed. Hostile detected. Visual unconfirmed. We read you. So this guy should make it. One. This guy can probably make it over here. Alert. alert. Carrier, Carrier taking fire. fire. We're ready for orders. Move out. Ready. And then at this point, you just need to mop up all the forces. Um, it should be fairly easy. Attack vehicle is under fire. Attack vector dialed in. We're in the fight. Fire! Keep moving! Hostile range craft destroyed. Move it! This is the captain. Sometimes you'll get these little annoying forces that will kind of get randomly stuck out there. Salvager ready. We got an assignment. Make sure you just use your air to pick them off. Salvager online. Hostile armor incoming. Take him out. Op ready. Move order confirmed. Punch it. We gotta go. Engaging. Hostile strike, strike craft strike down. Style. Hostile armor eliminated. Displaced to that CU field. So, a good time for this mission. Um, I would say anything below 13 minutes is pretty good. The biggest key that you can save, or the biggest point, is try and get these salvagers to these bases. That's going to save you a ton of time in the next mission. Receiving. Um, without that, you can likely uh, expect to be like a, maybe a minute and 30 uh, behind for the next mission compared to someone who um, does manage to get salvagers rolling along the way. If you get them halfway between the wreck and like kind of your base up here, Strike you'll be good. So like this fire. one made it all the way to the base, that's perfect. Um, so that was a rather slow time, 14 minutes, but like I said, it's trying to explain a lot of things at the same time while playing. Um, I'll do that mission again, a little bit less commentary, and we'll see how... We've successfully completed our scan of the Kalata Wow, this guy's actually getting wrecked by the tornado. Ah, oh, he made it. <laughs> Ready. Uh, one other minor optimization is you can get all of your um, LAVs over to that kind of middle wreck too. Um, that'll save some time. But you have all the next mission to drive over there too, so it's not necessarily needed. Just getting the salvages there is the most important thing. Alright, so I'm going to play through that mission once more with a little bit less commentary and try and focus on showing you how it would be done a little bit more quickly than that. Closing in on the target site. Rachel, scout ahead and establish a positive ID. Roger that. Arrived in the general vicinity where the Ifrit Nabal recovered the artifact. So this is my favorite mission of the campaign. I played it the most and looked for some tricks on this mission. One thing I've noticed, um, the Capizi can can drive over to this area. If you back up over this rock in particular, uh, the Capizi will do all sorts of kick flips up in the air. It's kind of like it's trying to launch itself into space. It's pretty amusing when it happens. Um, and like I said, a good time for this mission. I believe sub-12 is possible. Um, I've, the closest I've gotten is 12.09, I think. 12 minutes and 9 seconds for this mission. But I believe you can definitely get below um, 12 minutes with like the perfect setup and um, everything goes perfectly. It's something I might try for eventually. Just see how low this mission can get. And it might actually help me 
learned a couple Commencing more things jam. about this mission, like some of the inner work mechanics of it. Stand by. I'm also detecting wreckage strewn across the valley below. I'll need to set up additional scanners to get a clearer picture of exactly what happened here. My preliminary scans are incomplete. I need to place a scanner at this location to get more data. Reading you. Scanner deployed. Commencing surface scan now. Position mark, take us out. Strike craft ready. The technology contained here is far more extensive than anything we have gathered to date. It will advance our existing research programs exponentially. Control. The resources that are visible now can be salvaged, but there are considerably more within the wreck itself. In order to extract them, we need to establish a broader scanner network so I can develop a complete shipbreaking plan. Use identified. I'm sending the details to the KPC's engineering team. Make sure to hover right I'll above support cruiser fabrication. We need to explore the valley below to identify additional wreckage from the Kalash. Deploy and secure scanners at each wreckage site located. Alert. The storm is producing tornadoes on low-lying areas. Avoid the tornadoes. The sand and debris they spin up chews through light armor. Searching for additional wreckage in the valley ahead could be difficult. If we upgrade our fabrication facilities to produce base runners, they'll help us in our search. Go for carrier. Base runner fabrication online. Steady base. Begin constructing base runners and use them to search then for the swing your wreckage. booty over that way. New course charted. Get her moving. Deploy a probe from one of our base runners to help in the search for wreck sites. Oh, if that's not great. Probes will allow us to quickly explore new areas and search for This guy kind of started turning himself around. Wreckage site detected. <laughs> Be a little Great bit work. slower. Establish a scanner and a defensive turret. Base runner here. Base run. Our scans indicate there are two additional wreck sites. Base runner responding. Runner copies. Location marked. Deploy scanner. We're up and running. Armor confirms. Ready. Guard marked armor. Oh, Moving I don't want you to guard. escort formation. Moving. Eyes open out there. Acknowledge. Uh, something I forgot to mention. It seems as soon as you build that uh, first or uh, that first scanner, um, the Gaussian are targeting our scanner network. Scramble that's when the scanner the will, will, or the Gaussian will show up. Must be secured. Recommend deploying turrets from base runners to do so. Enemy light attack vehicle marked on approach. Reposition! Hostile strike craft down. Strike craft taking effective fire. Go, go! Be advised, an RU site has been exhausted of resources. Research completed. Oh, that's not good. I forgot to move the support cruiser. That's not good at all. Send orders. It's a scrub RU mistake. Someone who's really bad at this game. On the current location. No response from the Sakala. The storm is interfering with our communications. Fire! Understood. Keep me advised. Affirmative. Try and use the dunes for your, your height advantage. Um, this is a really good dune to defend from for this scanner. There is still one more wreck site. Continue your search. The production cruiser is over there, so we got the ideal position. I kind of would have liked um, the production cruiser to spawn in a different position, just so we could have got a. I could have showed um, what kind of steps you need to take if that happens. Great work. All the wreckage sites have been found. Deploy a scanner, then set up a turret to defend it from Gaussian attacks. Reporting. Deploy a turret on that location. Ready. I've commenced a scan. Copies. Defend that area with a turret. Hostile light attack vehicle detected. Sent message. 
The Gelsing are attempting to destroy our scanner network. Uh, the reason why this is also one of the ideal positions, um, you get strike fighter fabrication very quickly when it spawns over here. That's not good. Admittedly, this is a lot of units that just came down. You might need to micro Rachel's healing. That guy's about to get iced. These guys are expendable though, it's not doing them Focus all, but they the These guys got stuck. The PC. On the move. Those guys should have been gathering seeds. That was my mistake. Salvage your copies. Your PC got. All right, we got enough strike fighters. Let's nuke this. The data we've already collected is amazing. Green line confirmed. Engines hot. This is interesting. Like. Hostile light attack vehicle visually authenticated. Hopefully these uh, salvages make it out. Strike copies. Hostile sighted. Punch it. We gotta go. Hostile on sensors. Authentication pending. Op ready. Move order confirmed. Strike Hostile armor eliminated. Attack 
Spectre dialed in. We're in the fight. Go for orders. Course set. Copy. Green line verified. Ready. Green line confirmed. Hammer it. Get us over there. We're ready for orders. Secure PDA for move. Salvage array ready. Hostile light Sensor attack vehicle visually authenticated. Reading. On our way. Make ready. Strike fighter coordinates dialed in. Green line confirmed. Engines hot. Light attack vehicle is under fire. Go, go! Move order confirmed. Lock, return fire! Hold! Strike craft destroyed. Keep target! Hold! It's a strike shot! Go! Destination so That was a little better, but... I've never seen anything like it. I lost a lot of AVs, which is not normal. Um, ideally, you want to keep all nine of them there, but sometimes things do happen. Like I said, this mission does have a lot of randomness to it. Um, the enemies can focus down one scanner entirely um, instead of some of the other ones. Like this one looks like it barely even got touched. All the turret posts and scanners are still alive, um, while this one got heavily focused on. Um, so that's it for Kalash uh, site. Um, like I said, if you get don't get discouraged by the randomness of that mission. Um, it is kind of the big. If you're going for the absolute perfect time, Kalash site is kind of like the big reset point of the run um, because you can lose maybe like a minute, a minute and a half just due to bad RNG. And I haven't quite figured out if there's any way to sort of manipulate the RNG or. We're managing well. Different things you can do to make different things lost. happen. Um, there really seems to be no Nate's pattern to it. Is that's it for Kalash Estate. Um, make sure you continue watching, and we will take a look at Kalash Wreck next, which is another fun mission. Stay tuned.